Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 28th of April 2019 and we're providing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 26th. Gold rose $11 last week from $1,275 to 1286 having hit a high of 1288 and a low of 1267 In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £995, that's up £14, and in euros it closed at €1,153, that's up €19. Euros. Silver rose 13 cents, from $14.96 to $15.09 having hit a high of 15.09 and a low of 14.76. In sterling terms, it closed at £11.68. That's up 17 pence. And in euros, it closed at 13.54 euros. That's up 0.24 euros. The gold to silver ratio remained unchanged at 85.2 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 26,543, up 81 points on the day, but down 16 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 8,146, up 27 points on the day, and up 148 points on the week. And the S&P 500 closed at 2,939, up 13 points on the day, and up 34 points on the week. Brent crude rose just 18 cents, from $71.97 to $72.15, and US light crude fell 70 cents, from $64 to $63.30. The dollar index stands at 98. That's up 0.63 on the week. Gold markets fell during the early part of last week and then began a gradual rise on Wednesday and gained reasonable ground on Friday, closing up $10 on the week. Technical analysts are cautious, predicting once again that the price could move in either direction and most suggest caution. If we see a rise above 1292, then that would be bullish. However, the gains made on Friday could easily be given back on Monday. Although prices rose last week, we noticed that last week's low in both gold and silver were lower than the previous week's low. Something to take notice of. Silver followed gold's pattern, but dropped dramatically on Tuesday, but again recovered later in the week. Technical analysis and analysts suggest that a falling wedge has been created, and any break upwards of the wedge will prove positive. Closing above $15 indeed will renew some traders' confidence. However, a podcast we shall be releasing tomorrow will paint a very interesting picture with regards to one professional's view as to where these markets are heading in the months ahead. So, what do we have on the economic calendar for next week? Well, on Monday, personal income, consumer spending and core inflation for March. Tuesday, Consumer Confidence Index for April. Wednesday, Market and ISM Manufacturing PMI for April, plus the FOMC statement on interest rates, and that will be followed by Jerome Powell's statement shortly afterwards. Thursday, Productivity and Unit Labour Costs for Quarter 1, and on Friday, the Non-Farm Payrolls, plus Average Earnings, plus market services PMI for April. So, we have an exhaustive week of reports, which should generate quite a lot of interest in stocks as well as commodities, and we shall see which of these investment choices benefits the most. Of course, 
It's all about the dollar, and that is again likely to have the greater influence on precious metal prices dependent on the week's reports. Interestingly, last Friday, GDP figures for quarter one were reported at 3.2%, compared with an expectation of 2.3%, and if these positive figures continue this coming week, we may indeed see commodities under pressure, as the dollar is likely to gain further, though to be fair, it is already standing at a lofty 98. Now tomorrow, we have a treat for our viewers and subscribers, in that we shall be interviewing Mr. Eric Townsend, a former teenage computer protege and now a retired entrepreneur turned hedge fund manager. And my word, has he got some revelatory comments on the price of gold and silver for you. You really must tune in for that interview which will then be continued further as we shall be discussing additional issues within the Inner Sanctum. So a treat for all of our non-members and members alike. But be warned, do not listen if you fear hearing things that you do not wish to hear. That is all we can say right now. Meanwhile, we hope and wish you have a prosperous week ahead. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.